Okay everybody, in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add the 1.5 kernel add-on to 3.71M33. It can be any update, but just remember that it will eventually delete location-free player in the Korean font. So what you're first going to want to do is go to the first link in the description and it will bring you to this page. It's the 1.5 kernel add-on for 3.71M33. So what you're going to want to do here is just click download. That will download very quick. It's a small file. And once that's downloaded, just exit this. And the next link you're going to click download. And this will take one or, one or two minutes, depending on how fast your computer is. It's going to come up, it's going to download. And once that's done downloading, I will get back to you in a second. Okay guys, now that we have our eBoot 1.50 and our 1.50 add-on the next thing you're going to want to do is format your memory card or make a backup and put your USB into USB connection and once you've done that you can see my files in here and here are the uh, files that we're going to need to have in order to put the 1.5 kernel add-on on. So what you're going to do now is open up the 1.50 add-on and it's going to say update and lee me and read me. So you're just going to double click that update folder and make sure everything's in there. There should be three files and you're going to go to the PSP and game folder and drag the update into your PSP game folder. So once you've done that, the update folder is there, and you're just going to click back into the root of your memory stick. So once you're here, ISO, MP root, music, PSP, once all of that is in there, you're going to open up the eBoot 1.50, and you're going to drag that onto the root of your memory stick. It's not going to take very long, 30 seconds. The 1.50 kernel add-on allows you to have like homebrew and emulators and remote joy and things like that. Okay, so once that's in the root of your memory stick, you're going to come and erase the eboot, but keep .pbp and just type 150. No periods, none of that, just 150. Click out. So now you have the 1.50.pbp and the update folder in your PSP. Now once you've done this, t take your PSP out of USB connection. and plug the memory card or take out the USB cable out of your memory out of your PSP or the memory card in the PSP. Now once you've done this, I'm going to exit this window. Um you are going to go down to memory stick and there should be a PSP update version 1.50. You're just going to click that. And once that comes up, it's going to say push cross to begin, blah, blah, blah. It's going to delete location free and Korean font. Since I'm not going to use any one of those, I'm just going to click cross. X. 
and it is going to start loading. And once it's done, it's going to say auto exiting in seven seconds. And once you've auto exited, you are going to hold R to get into recovery and turn on your PSP to get into the recovery menu. Go down to configuration and then the kernel, like what kind of kernel or something like that. And you're just going to click it once and it will go to 3.71 kernel to 1.50 kernel. So thank you for watching.